What's up guys, Rami here with the stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Saturday, August 8th. In this stimulus update, I have great, great news for those of you on Social Security, SSI, and SSDI. In regards to the missing $500 per child stimulus money, we now have an update on when you'll get it and how you can check the status of it. So let's cover all the details right after you please hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I can update you on everything regarding the second stimulus check and stimulus package plus more money and finance news. So a lot of you know that there was a major glitch with the first stimulus check and that's not getting the $500 for your qualifying dependents. As you all know, the CARES Act provided economic impact payments up to $1,200 for single people and up to $2,400 for married taxpayers filing jointly plus an additional $500 per qualifying dependent under the age of 17. All these numbers were based on your latest tax returns, whether that's from 2018 or 2019. And since a large number of Social Security benefits recipients don't meet the annual revenue requirements to file tax returns, they were initially unable to receive their payments. Then the IRS issued guidance going against the CARES Act, saying some seniors and others who typically do not file returns will need to submit a simple tax return to receive the stimulus payment. This directive received a lot of backlash and the IRS backtracked and issued the payments automatically, but these individuals were given instructions to use the non-filers tool to submit additional information to the IRS about qualifying dependents to claim the additional money, the additional $500 per child. The problem is, even after doing that, and many of you filled out the non-filer tool and added your qualifying children, when you finally received your stimulus checks, it was missing the $500 per qualifying dependent. That was terrible, of course, and many of you commented on my videos asking what happened with that. Because every dollar matters in this situation, and if you have three children, that means that you got a check that's $1,500 less than what you expected. And that's a lot of money that you're missing that you desperately need in this situation. So early last month, the IRS became well aware of that issue and they came out and said that there are about 365,000 people who are missing money for their children. So initially, the IRS said individuals who didn't receive their dependent money wouldn't receive it until sometime next year when they file a 2020 tax return in order to claim the dependent money, which is ridiculous. They wanted you to wait a few months to get the money you deserve, but now, this is changing and IRS officials said that they're working to identify individuals who did not receive additional money for qualifying children but did submit it in the non-filers tool and expect to provide those payments by the end of July. Well, looks like the IRS is finally getting around to issuing those payments. According to Fox Business, they reported that the IRS will begin rectifying economic impact payment amounts for individuals who may not have received all that they were eligible for, and households can expect to receive the extra cash within the coming weeks. In guidance issued this week, the agency said it would begin issuing direct deposits for some people missing the $500 per qualifying child on Wednesday and sending paper checks and debit cards on Friday. The article also said that this $500 per child payment will be sent in the same way you received your initial payment. So if you received your first check by direct deposit, by paper check, by debit card, or whatever it was, you'll get this payment in the same way. This is exactly what it says on the IRS website. The IRS will automatically issue the additional $500 EIP per qualifying child to affected individuals in early August. For those who used the non-filers tool before May 17, 2020, direct deposit payments are scheduled for August 5th, 2020, and paper checks or debit cards are scheduled to be mailed August 7th, 2020. You can use Get My Payment tool to check the status of the $500 EIP per qualifying child, and you will receive another notice in the mail letting you know the $500 EIP per qualifying child was issued. It's great that the Get My Payment tool will now let you check the status of the payment as well. Well, hope this video was helpful for you. Please share it with anyone you think will find it helpful. Let me know all your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos for you. And don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and two free stocks from Webull, with one of them potentially worth up to $1,400 when you deposit only $100 
which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. Links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.